Hey, what's going on everybody? How's it going today? I hope you're having a good day. It's a beautiful, sunny, nice weather where I'm at, and so I am enjoying it. But that being said, let's jump into the video here. And I just gotta say one thing. I love me some Vim. Now, that sounds kind of stupid, because <laughs> it's a text editor, and it's an inanimate object, and it is just a thing, but man, when it comes to workflow and ease of use for me and just making my life easier, Vim is amazing. And you know there's a learning curve to it just like anything else, but holy cow. I've been using it for a few years now. I am by no means an expert, but oh man, I love me some Vim. I've tried Emacs. I've tried Atom. I've tried... Uh, VS Code, I've tried all different kinds of things, and I love me some Vim. Let's get into it. What I'm going to talk about today is a little something I've done in my init.vim, and how it has just drastically improved my efficiency and my ability to write HTML. And I write HTML not a whole heck of a lot. I built my own page in HTML and I goof around in HTML and stuff, but I write enough of it to where I get sick and tired of writing tags. And I know there's probably stuff out there that uh, you can do to, or you can have that help with that, but I decided to just use Vim and do some stuff to make my life incredibly easy when I'm writing HTML. So let's get into it and take a look. We're going to open a terminal here, and I'm going to open a different terminal than I usually use. I usually use Alacrity, but we're going to go into Kitty. I've been kind of playing around in Kitty lately, and so we're just going to keep trying to see what it's all about. But So we're going to open Kitty here. Let's make it full screen. Um, and uh, I want to go into my um, init.vim. So let's go vim.config. Uh, in vim and init.vim. So we're going to go in here. And we are going to actually, let's snap this to the right here. And we are going to open another terminal over here on the left. And we are going to open a file called uh, test.html. So, I used this test.html in my last video, and this is just something I can, I, I'm using so that way I can, uh, or did I use HTML in the last video? No, I just used test.txt, but anyway, that being said, when you're writing HTML, and you're going through, you know, there's so much stupid little stuff you gotta do. Um, like, if at the start of your document, you know, you have the, you gotta go, doc type html and yes i know there's supposed to be an exclamation point at the beginning of that but you know, doc type html and then you gotta do uh, the head and then punch in your stuff or actually you don't even punch in your stuff yet um, you're gonna go ahead and then you're gonna do like let's say h1 you're gonna type in a bunch of stuff and then you're gonna have to go h1 again and then you say you want another heading but you want it smaller so you go h2 and then you type in some stuff and you go h2 and then you gotta go ahead and close out that and so so it just it gets tedious it gets very tedious you can see what I'm talking about in the fact that there's tags and I know there's probably plugins and I know there are plugins where you type one tag and it instantly puts the other one in the end of it for you and so that you know that yeah that makes life a little easier too um, but what I've done if we come over here to my init.vim here actually you know let me show you let me show you it in action first and then we'll go over and show you what uh, I'm talking about and what I've done Basically, anytime I want to write HTML, if I open up Vim and I put it in insert mode and say I want to start the document, so I need my doc, my doc type tag. So all I got to do is in insert mode, I hit semicolon deep, and look at that. I've got a doc type HTML tag just like that. Now, oh, now I need to do my head tag. So next we're gonna do okay. We'll go semicolon h. Wait a second. Oh, look, I've got a head tag and a closing head tag, and then my cursor is right in between them in insert mode ready to go 
So from here we need our H1 header. So let's do semi oops, let's do semicolon H1. Now I've got H1 opening tag and closing tag. My cursor is in between them in insert mode. Ready to go. So just like that, I've got an H1 tag and I've got my stuff typed. All right. So that being said, we're done with the H1 tag. What do we want? We need a uh, let's say we need an H2 tag. There we go. We got an H2 tag. We're ready to go with H2. So let's. Uh, this is a second tag. So we've got a second tag. Oops, we've got two of the. I accidentally got to change that in there. I think, but. Uh, so we've got our second tag. Um, what else do we need? Um, we might need to have a meta tag in there. So let's do semicolon M. And we've got a meta tag. We can put whatever we need to in there. Oops, didn't want to do the doc type, but <laughs> we can put whatever we need to in there. And we've got a meta tag. And uh, so that being said, it's just real simple. Simple. So. Again, I'll show you without all the goofing around to type them, but if I want to have a doc type tag, all I do is in insert mode, I press semicolon and I press D, and then I've got my doc type. If I want a header tag, I press the semicolon H in insert mode, and I've got my head, uh, my tag, my head tag. If I want an H1, I do semicolon H1, and I have my H1 tag set. Um, if I want H2, semicolon H2, and I have, again, I gotta fix that in there, I must have written it up wrong. I have my H2 tag. Um, so just real meta is semicolon M. It just makes my life so much easier when I am writing my HTML. I can just quick hit the semicolon and the key I need to hit to get whatever tag I want and we're good to go. So let's scroll over here into the uh, init.vim and we'll scroll down and I'll show you what I've got going on here. So basically what I have set is right here in this HTML section. Um, and basically I have it set auto command file type HTML. So you're gonna have to have a few plugins. You're gonna have to have the file type plugin and you're gonna have to have, um, I believe the syntax plug. Um, and I think that was it. Um, File type, file type plugin, file type indent, um, and the syntax, I believe, are what you need. Um, but anyway, um, if you look right here, what we've got is we've got auto CMD, file type HTML, and then I know remap, which stands for basically we're remapping a key and we're doing it. The I means it's in insert mode. So in insert mode, if I do semicolon H1, it's going to give me the H1 opening tag, the H1 closing tag, it's going to escape, put me back into normal mode, it's going to go to B, which means back two words, which is going to put me right in between here because it's taken into account the, the punctuation, so it's going to put my cursor right back here, and then it's going to drop me back into insert mode as the I at the end. So again, semicolon H1 is going to write both my tags for me, it's going to escape insert mode, take me back into the middle of the two tags and put me back into insert mode. And that's basically all I've done. I've done that with the H2, um, but instead of pressing H1, obviously, I press semicolon H2. Um, I've done it with P for the paragraph tag. Um, again, same thing, uh, semicolon P, it gives me both my tags, then it escapes me out of insert mode, goes back to, the, to between the two tags and puts me back in insert mode. Uh, semicolon D, gives me the doc type tag and just hits return and gets me ready to type. Uh, semicolon H is the head, which gives me one head tag. It hits return, return. So it gives me two lines, gives me another head tag. And then um, once it gives me that head tag, it goes up one line um, to put me in between the two head tags. Um, and then semicolon M gives me the meta tag and then escapes into normal mode. Um, takes me back, eight, press H twice basically for back, for left, left twice, and then back into insert mode, which will put me right back in between the uh, backslash and the meta. And then um, I also have in here semicolon S for strong, for uh, bold lettering. So that'll give me a strong tag, escape, um, and then it'll find the first 
instance of this, capital F is going to go and re search in reverse for the first instance of my uh, greater than symbol, and then it'll put me back in insert mode, which will put me right back here. So, made my life 10 times easier. I can write HTML without having to take the time. And granted, you know, it's only a couple seconds per tag, but when you have pages and pages of HTML, if you're doing, or if you have, you know, hundreds and hundreds of lines and you've got all these tags and everything, this one saves me from having to type all those tags. And two, make sure that I have an opening tag and a closing tag when I need them. And it's just with the press of a key. So if you write HTML at all and you use Vim and you haven't done this, Man, I recommend it. Um, take this and run with it. Um, you can do with you can do it with so much other stuff. You can remap things for so much more. And again, this is why I love Vim so much. It's so extensible. It's so customizable. You can do so much with it. And I haven't even scratched the surface. I don't know hardly anything when it comes to Vim compared to what is available to know. So that being said. Um, I hope you found this useful. If you can use it, great. Um, if not, <laughs> disregard this video, I guess. Um, but again, I just wanted to show you this. It's drastically improved my efficiency in HTML. It has made me a lot quicker in HTML, and it is definitely something that I love about Vim. So, thanks you guys for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.